Hi, this is Makar and today I'll be talking about the war updates in Ukraine for uh, February 6th. Uh, before I start, as usual, I would like to ask you to click on like on this video and also leave a comment uh, below. Um, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask. And also, if you don't have any questions, you can just leave a, an emoji or something that would really help my channel. Thank you very much. So um, let's start with some data. So today is day number 348, and as of today, there are 133,32, uh, 1,160 Russian personnel being liquidated in Ukraine since February 24th. That's plus almost 900 since the last day. Also, Ukrainian army um, had quite successful day. Uh, 11 Russian tanks, 10 APV, th and 13 uh, vehicles and fuel tanks. Um, so now let's look at, at the video from Russian propaganda channels uh, and obviously as you can see they call the war a special military operation which is a uh, total BS and also for some reasons they uh, mark Ukrainian territory as in like or orange color which means that it's Russia for some reason they think that it's Russia Russian territory now, but it's not. It's Ukrainian territory annexed by Russia. So um, let's start um, watching this two minute video. A Soviet made Ukrainian 2141 Strij drone crashed on the outskirts of Kaluga. The drone was carrying a makeshift bombshell with integrated ammunition and was meant to hit a military facility. Ukrainian units shelled the village of Kazinka in Valyiski urban district. The shelling resulted in the death of an elderly woman and several injured people. Several residential houses were damaged by the fire. Russian troops developed their offensive in the Kupyansk area. The advanced units have fought their way to Sinkivka. According to some reports, street battles are already taking place in the village itself. In the Lyman section, Russian motorized rifle troops have taken control of several heights in the area of the Volka Zhuravka. In the Yampolivka area, the enemy is retreating and suffering heavy losses in personnel. The clearing of the forest area southwest of Kremina continues. Control of the northern bank of the Seversky Donets will level the front line and buy the threat to the rear units. The Russian forces are reported to be continuing their offensive in the area of the liberated Bilohorivka. Successful access... Um, so here I need to, to stop. First, not liberated, occupied. Secondly, uh, they call it Bilohorivka, which is Bilohorivka. Um, this is in no way occupied by Russians. And there are photo and video proofs of Ukrainian military being present in the city, in the town. Um, so uh, that's uh, a regular Russian bullshit. Um, they claim this town to be occupied, but it's not. It's a lie, as usually. To Serebryanka will significantly complicate supplies for the enemy grouping on the other bank of the river. In Bakhmut, Wagner PMC assault detachments have been conducting an offensive along the entire front line. Artillery and aviation are striking identified AFU positions around the clock. To the south, the Wagner PMC units are fighting on the approaches to Krasny. Success on this flank will allow to take under fire control the last active road and actually close the ring of operational encirclement. In Marinka, Russian motorized rifle troops managed to push through the enemy's defenses and occupy a number of important positions along the southern outskirts. Now they call it occupation, which is technically true. They occupy uh, Ukrainian territory. Fighting continues in the center of the village along Druzhva Avenue. Okay, so now I would like to show you another video of Ukrainian tank uh, blowing up abandoned Russian IFE. Let me uh, make it... Uh, okay, the quality is bad, so let's watch it this way. Mm -hmm. 
Доброго вечора, ми з України. Доброго вечора, ми з України. У. Okay. So, uh let's go to the map. So in Russia over here, uh as you already know, uh suspected Ukrainian 2141 street drone uh crashed in Kaluga. Uh, Kaluga. Um then in Norv Norv uh in Norvegia, Norvegia, Norvegia. Uh Nor Norway. In Norway. Uh, the government proposed and and president support uh, package for Ukraine, total seventy five billion um, uh, crowns, which is approximately six point eight billion euros over five years, twenty twenty three to twenty twenty seven. Planned annual distribu uh, distributions of approximately fifteen uh, billion crowns. Um, so, which is good. Thanks, thank you guys. Um, then in Chernigiv region, Russian army shelled Sankivka over here. And then in uh, Sumer region, uh, Russian army shelled uh, Novovasilivka, Serdina Buda, Sopich, Boyarno Lajachi, Volfene, um, and Alexandrivka of Sumer region. Uh, then in Kharkiv region, Russian army shelled Strilecha, Neskuchne, Ternove, Ternova, uh, Staritsa, Ogirceva, Budarki, and uh, Rublen of Kharkiv region. Um, then in Kupinsk region, over here, sorry, here, uh, Russian telegram channels report that Russian troops developed their offensive in the Kupinsk uh, area. The advanced units have fought their way to Sinkivka. According to some reports, street battles are already taking place in the village itself. Yeah, we saw this in the, uh, on the video. Um, then in Svatova area, uh, which is over here. Russian army shall Novoselivka, Stelmachivka, Makivka, Plashanka, and Nevsky of Luhansk region. And then uh, now we're gonna go to Kremina area. Uh, Russian army shall Terny of Donetsk region and Chernobyl-Popivka, Kremina, Kuzmine, and Dubrova of Luhansk region. Ukrainian military report Russian text near uh, Kremina and uh, um, Ship Shipilivka, these two. Then um, now I would like to show you a video from Kremina. That's uh, I'm not gonna show you the entire entire video because uh, it has some um, graphic content, but um, you will understand probably what, what is at the end. So I'm gonna show you like 45, 47 seconds. Look at the distractions. Look at what the war is. So that's a Ukrainian military um, walking around. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it here. Um, let's assume that the guy is just sleeping. That's a Russian invader occupant. He decided to take take a nap. Let's put it this way. Okay, so um, then in Belohorivka area of Lohansk region, which is over here, uh, Ukrainian military built Russian tax near Verkhnyokaminska and uh, Russian army shall Spirna and uh, Belohorivka. Uh, Russian telegram channels report that the army uh, are um, are reported to be continuing their offensive in the area of occupied Belohorivka. That's according to Russian telegram channels. Um, there are videos of Ukrainian uh, soldiers in Belohorivka of Luhansk region in this Belohorivka, um, which prove that it's under Ukrainian control. Then in Solodar area, uh, Russian army shall Mikolaevka, Rozdolivka, Krasnogora. Uh, the three and Ukrainian military pulled Russian tax near Vasukivka, which is over here. Let me zoom in a little bit. 
Um, then uh, we have a development in the front line. So let's look at it right now. Um, so that's Krasnahora. And if we look at um, the February 5th and February 6th, as you can see, Russia's advanced on Krasnahora a little bit. And they also advanced um, from Klishivka towards Stupochki. Stupochki over here. Um, so yeah, they try to encircle Bakhmut. That's the, the plan, which is quite clear. Um, so uh, I have a video for you from Bakhmut area. That is a Ukrainian tank um, shooting at Russian trenches uh, with a Russian soldier visible at the close range. Um, have you noticed the Russian uh, occupant, the Russian soldier on this video? Let me know what second um, you have spotted this guy. Um, leave a comment. Okay, so um, then in Bakhmut area, Russian army shall Bakhmut, Ivanivske and Stupochke um, over here. And Ukrainian military put Russian attacks all over this area. Um, so that's a, that's a hot spot right now. Then um, Russian Telegram channels report that the Wagner assault uh, detachments have been conducting an offensive along the entire front line um, surrounding uh, Bakhmut, um, which is quite clear uh, as the red color means the Russian controlled area. So yeah, that's, um, that's what it is right now. So on this map, um, Russians uh, almost touched the, the highway. Um, on this map, it's still, um, I don't know, like two miles, maybe a little bit less, one and a half mile. But um, yeah, that's the situation. So uh, moving on, um, Kurdyumivka area. Russian army shelled uh, Kurdyumivka and Ozaryanivka. And um, they also shelled uh, Druzhba, Majorske, and New York. Um, then in Avdiivka area, Russian army shelled Samenivka, Avdiivka, uh, Severna, Vodyane, Pervomaiske, and Vesela of Donetsk region. That's all of these towns, all of this. Um, and Ukrainian uh, military report Russian attacks near Kamenka, uh, Severna, Pervomaiske, Vesela, and Nevelske. Basically, all of these um, guns over here, that's the spots where um, the, the ground battle uh, continues. Okay, so uh, I have a video from Avdiivka, from Ukrainian military, that's gonna be right here. That's a Russian tank. And the guy who um, is monitoring um, the, the drone footage, live drone footage, he just said that, um, you know, basically he was talking to Russian invaders uh, through the screen. Uh, like, there will be no, like, evacuation is canceled. No evacuation. Okay. Let, let's start from the beginning. You see they're sitting next to the tank. One grenade. Boom. Not far. Oh, several, several so there are several, several of them on the tank over here. Um, probably injured or um, I, I don't know. Um, they are not moving. I mean, the tank shaked. Imagine the, the basically the, the air wave from the from the grenade. It's called the walk, W-O-G. 
Okay, so the tank shaked uh, because of uh, because it striked. So my bad. Boom. <laughs> Russian vankas are burning. Okay. So, um, then a short video of Lithuanian APVs and five uh, fifty seven, five uh, seventy seven. And the video is called uh, Why do I need a taxi if I have uh, um, APV? Okay, um, then let's look at the Vohodar area. In Vohodar area, um, Russian army shall, uh, I believe I missed the Marinka area, which is over here. Russian army shall Tehorivka, Marinka, Pobeda, and Novomikhailivka. In Ukrainian military, called Russian attacks near Marinka and Pobeda. So now Vohodar, um, Russian army shall Vohodar. Uh, Bohoyavlenka, um, Nova Ukrainka, Prechistivka, uh, Zolotaniva, Nebelika Novosilka, and uh, uh, Neskuchna, and also Nova Pil, all of Donetsk region. So now we're gonna go to uh, the Parisian region, but uh, before doing that, I have another video of uh, which is called Running and Burning. Uh, I guess. What is it gonna be? That's a Russian invader running. That's a Russian tank, Russian positions. Boom! And a piece, look, the piece of the tank, just look again. It just like went up and then like fell down. Look. Look, something went up, like, I don't know, dozens, dozens of feet up. Okay. Um, the Parisian region. Russian army shall Olhivske, Poltavka, Malinivka, Chervone, Hulipola, Cherivne, Malatokmachka, Novandrivka, Stepove, and Kaminske of the Parisian region. All of the sounds and this too as well. Um, the last video for today will be a uh, confiscated uh, T-80 tank. Um, that's gonna be right here. Basically, a trophy T80 took from Russia. Now it serves in Ukrainian army. That's what I would call land lease Russia style. Look, it, this tank striked at like this forest line. Uh, that's that's insane. Look, boom, boom. That's a powerful tank. Here is the fireworks. 
That's nice. I love it. That's Russian invader crawling. Um, I believe YouTube may ban uh, this video, but anyway. That's true. That's what Russians... Um, they be become a ground meat in Ukrainian soil. Okay, so oh, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still upload this video anyway. Uh, so, um, here's some region. Uh, Russian army shall go to Balka, Havrilivka, Kachkarivka, Milove, Bereslav, Vesele, Ivanivka, uh, Mikilske, uh, Chernobyevka, Antonivka, Dniprovska, and Goncharne, and also Kherson city of Kherson region as well. Um, that's it for today. If you like this video, please uh, click on like and also share it with your friends um, and leave a comment. That would really help my channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.